Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Zoo Tycoon, uh, Jake's farm. So, um, so, t <laughs> so today we're gonna be doing uh, cows. Cows are um, are notorious for their uh, their milk their milk making um, abilities um, <laughs> uh, and their uh, their ability to uh, create uh, beef. Beef is uh, another one of their uh, you know things that they do. Um, so, um, a uh, majority of these exhibits aren't going to be that big, considering the animals don't really require a lot of space in the first place, but, um, you know, <laughs> they're, they'll be alright. So, I probably should have cut this part out, considering, because I'm, I'm just like, uh, I don't, I'm not even 100% sure why I recorded this part. This is me just, um playing around with fences and stuff, I'm not really sure which one to grab. Um, I start off with these ones, but I switch it out because they're too bright, uh, and uh, they're not really going with what I want. Um, I can't really figure out the stables, and I, I don't figure out the stables, I, I just kind of built my own. Um, yeah, so I didn't even bother too much with that. So, uh, moving on... Uh, not even moving on. We're still gonna, we're still gonna dwell on this for a little while. We're still gonna dwell on this because uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. That's it. No, I do know what I'm doing. It's just that past me is not very decisive, but future me is very decisive. So I know what is going on. Anyway, uh, right here, I'm trying to figure out how uh, I'm gonna build this. Uh, uh, barn, I guess it would be. And, um, I ultimately just kind of build my own kind of building. I didn't really want to, you know, go too far into, um, the, uh, the whole stable building process, because, uh, I, I just don't like it. Um, they're qual- it's qual- it's quality stuff, it's just, um, I- I, I couldn't- f I couldn't figure it out, because I'm stupid. See, I'm not a very intelligent person, so seeing, um, you know, multiple parts that I have to put, toge put together kind of reminds me of Ikea, and uh, um, not being a very intelligent person means that Ikea is kind of my worst enemy, because I actually have to think, and thinking isn't very, very fun, so I decided not to build those um, enclosures, so the uh, stables. So anyway, I'm going to do what every simpleton loves to do, and... Uh, gets the phone. <laughs> Fucking crisis again. Okay, <laughs> that was uh, great. I, I'm the only one here, so I had to I had to pick it up. So yeah, so this is me playing around with all the the uh, because because it was built at an angle. Um, it was very hard to actually work these, so everything had to be a lot larger than I wanted it to be. So. Yeah, they're, they're, I, I guess it's character. Why not, right? It's just character. Like, I wanted a little outlet there, but I couldn't have it, so. Um, and that would be too low for the animals, so I decided against it because I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I really wasn't able to do anything because nothing was working, and that's okay, so. Because it would attach to that, and I couldn't have an overhang. I played around with it, and that's ultimately what the overhang was going to be anyway, so I stuck with that. I'm putting in some supports, because that's obviously a pretty pretty heavy uh, pretty heavy structure, so putting the supports in. And uh, I'm happy to say that I uh, indeed did record some Sims the other day. That should be coming out uh, rather soon. Um, uh, I... Did put a, I didn't put too much work into it. Um, it, it simply, it's, it's a lot more effort to build a building in here than it is to build a building in Sims, obviously. Because Sims actually has a whole engine, like, for it. Like, this, this uh, originally the creators of this game did not even intend for you to, uh, build anything. So, it's actually, that's cool. actually interesting that, uh, people have taken upon themselves to make it possible. So, anyway, here's, uh, Here's uh, me going in with the letters, writing out dairy cow. Z -z -z -z. So, 
yeah, that's um, that's probably gonna be the staple here. Look at that. I'm, I'm I don't do that for each one, but I just thought it looked cool. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna put a door here, and of course, um, another cool thing that they have here is that I got. You can put those doors there. And of course, we have to build the uh, the path leading up to it. And of course, we gotta you know redo all the things. Terrain is a, is a very difficult thing in this game, I feel. Um, it adds a lot, but it also takes away a lot, you know? Because if you have multi-level stuff and all that, and the terrain is different, but it, it's just too radical of an incline most of the time. And uh, that radical incline, you know, is just kind of... It, it's too radical, you know? You can't... You can't really... It looks better from above, but like if it was real life and you're looking at that, you'll be like, no way am I walking up there, that's way too steep. Uh, I mean, maybe maybe a young kid or something would be able to do it. Older, you know, older people would probably say, hell no. Oh, well, Whoa. see you guys. That took a lot longer than it really needed to. So anyway, here's the dairy cow exhibit. Fences are a little high, but that's okay. Very small exhibit, only two animals in it, it's fine. Hopefully they won't overpopulate it, but it'll, it'll be easier to take care of. That door doesn't work. The second door does It's only there for decoration. All good. Whew. So, not really much to show off. I got these this cool bedding. You know, it works as uh, the shelter. It uh, kind of adds a little bit to the, um, to the stable, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure if this is meant for eating, um, but it certainly looks like it belongs there. I put a lot of uh, grass out here because I knew the cows would eat the grass. Or, I mean, that's what they're supposed to do. Not like they're, I mean, real cows would be eating the grass. Like, let's see, like that, like they're doing right now. Not particularly eating the grass, but it's more for pretend more than anything. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching. I really like these uh, letters that I got. These are really cool. They're going to be probably in all of my exhibits now. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.